So the pre the prerequisite is to become a citizen. So that now, listen now, listen now, you don't have to worry about everything else because now it's the king's responsibility to take care of his citizens. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. So through religion, we have used our prayer life as a grocery list. That's right. That's right. That's right. And then if you don't get it, folks will run up to you that's religious and say, well, you ain't got enough faith. Hold up. Wait a minute. God, the king, never required us to use our faith to get paid. He required us to have faith in the king. Because he believed God. He not believed God because he walked with. 
So it's a, it implies action. Walking signifies progress. We heard that word today too. It signifies progress. Lord have mercy. Okay, okay. What does religion teach us to do? Religion has taught us in the past if we stay busy making progress, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then that means that we are successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. The great, the greatest failure in life is to be successful in the wrong assignment. So just because we make progress through activity doesn't mean we are successful. It just means that we made progress from where we once were to where we are now. So, so if you and I are still not in the right assignment, uh, making progress don't mean anything. Come on now, but listen to this now. He he says he said Paul said to the believers in, in, in Colossae. He said so walk in him. He said so walk in the King. So your action also means that you're making progress. So you got to be in the right right assignment because you walk in him. Amen. That's right. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. <laughs> If you and I are walking in him, then that means, listen now, that means when the contrary winds blow, it doesn't mean that you're not in righteousness. Come on. It just might mean that God is sitting, I don't know if we're going to have enough time to get to this. God is just sending you to a test to prove the claim, to verify to somebody else that you got tangled faith. Amen. So look at your neighbor and say, what you are going through don't mean that you've done anything contrary to the will, to the purpose, to the intent of the king. It just means he's proving you so that you will know what's in you that you don't know. So when he takes you to the big dimension, Pastor Henderson imply, implies action, signifies profit, progress, but also walking implies continuance. That's right. It implies continuance. You and I don't, don't start because this is something that we are used to being accustomed to and then just deviate from it. What are you talking about? Uh -huh. This Kingdom Summit movement sounds good, so I'm going to peep my head in the area now and then to see what's going on. So that now, I might can get on the platform, come on now, and, and, and now share something that God might have given me that's not relevant to the Kingdom, and God says, shut it up and shut it down. Amen. Go ahead. Because religion is always centered by self-promoting uh -huh, uh -huh. uh -huh. agenda. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's it. All right. See these platforms that God has 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 allowed. Everybody can't stand up there. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Not that God won't get you to a place that you can stand. Right. But everybody is not in the season to stand up here yet. Amen. And just because you are dealing with some trials and tests doesn't alleviate you from standing up. Because if the king is standing here, you it's no longer you. Amen. Paul got a revelation. Paul said, I've been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, not I. He got, he got a revelation. He said, not I. Is Christ. Y'all catch this right here. The 
significant. Yes. Revelation of a difference. When you and I always said I to God, we had an eye syndrome. Uh -huh. <laughs> what, 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 what are you talking about? Sometimes through faith, we get an eye syndrome. Help God. Uh -huh. yeah. I miss God. I miss God. I miss God. I miss. No, 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 no. God said, now you taking my place. <laughs> okay, okay, since y'all didn't catch that one, you know how we say, Lord, Lord, allow me to decrease so you increase. You missed it. You missed it. You ain't comparable to God unless he increased and then you and I will decrease. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. Okay, since y'all didn't catch that one, catch this one. You didn't catch it, catch this one. Lord, hide me behind the cross that people will never see me but see you. You and I are not able to bear the cross. So why are we trying to hide behind it so they won't see us? They'll see you. These some of these religious cliches that we picked up because it sounds good in prayer. It sounds spiritual, but don't have no great significance. Because now, as co pastor said, sometimes our position puffs us up that we think we are somebody. Amen. Amen. When Enoch walked, when Enoch walked, when Enoch walked, Enoch was Enoch was translated. Why was he translated? Because there was no longer Enoch anymore that was walking. Amen. Why did God take him? Because he not pleased God. Oh, oh how are you? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Hebrews 11 and 6. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen. For he that comes to God must believe that he is the reward of them that diligent to seek him. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Amen. When you and I walk by faith, yeah. 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 we didn't please. Listen now. Listen now. Yeah. We didn't please the king. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because we are walking by what he commanded us and charged us and commissioned us to walk by in his kingdom. Yeah. Hold on for some, listen. Now, as David, as David Peter said, through the righteousness of God, through Christ Jesus, doesn't give us, give us a license to sin. All right, listen to this. You and I don't have to work to obtain faith right. nor righteousness. All right. Right. Amen. That was in, we inherited that. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Why do you think, why do you think, listen to this, why do you think Jesus confronted the religious folk, the religious sect so much? Because they were impressed with their outward works in appearance Amen. and not the hidden man, the true one. Yeah. 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 I want y'all to marinate in your thinking. Amen. Matthew 5 and 20. Unless your righteousness exceed. Mm -hmm. Unless your righteousness exceed. Mm -hmm. Unless your righteousness exceed. The who? The religious device. You too will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You too, you neither. Who is he talking to then? Who, no, 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 no. Who, who was he talking to then? Disciples. He was talking to who? Disciples. He was talking to the. He was talking to the citizens, right? Yeah. He was talking to the, the citizens because he was trying to get them to see the importance of the righteousness of the king mm -hmm. that comes along with the kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. So in that conjunction, seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness, it means that even though you see that conjunction, they are joining two thoughts. You obtain the righteousness of the king because you have now became and become a citizen. <laughs> so how do we walk? We walk by the 
the faith that has been established yeah. mm -hmm. in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So it's a continuance. You and I don't start and then end. Don't start walking or have a desire for the kingdom and then all of a sudden their religious stuff start popping back up again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. What you talking about? Come on. <laughs> you don't have to be in a place to affect the That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Stay here. Stay here now. Don't y'all don't y'all go too fast. Y'all push y'all may push me faster than I want to go. <laughs> you don't have to be in a place to affect the place. Okay. All right. Okay. You can be out of a place and still have that influence of the place. Amen. So how important is it for a renewed mind? Okay. Because if you and I don't be careful, we can be talking kingdom and still walking in religion. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Because association and affiliation has its pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Have, have you ever been in a group of more than five and, and you say you was with them, but your influence and action says something? What are you trying to say? If you and I are going to continue in what the king has established for us to carry out, then you and I need to make sure our minds are being renewed with the king doctrine. Amen. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Children of Israel, help me, help, help me out. <laughs> Moses, come and help me out right here. <laughs> the governor spoke to Moses to tell Moses, Moses, I'm going to come down and by my strong hand, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deliver my people out of, come on, y'all heard this now, yeah. out of an oppressed place and out of the oppression and slavery of another king and kingdom. Yes, amen. amen. But when I brought them out, they did not continue in what I brought them out of to bring them in. Yeah. Oh boy, that didn't set that didn't set you. Right. What are you saying? God can the king can bring you out of a location, but if you don't drive out what now was in Florida, what now influenced you for all that time, you can be out here and still operating in back there. <laughs> Why they didn't enter into his rest, Dita? Why did they didn't enter into his rest? Because they didn't have no faith. That's right. Go read Hebrew. They did not enter into his rest, David Peter. What you said, Peter? 